The 2015 Consumer Electronics Show is almost upon us, and Consumer Reports will be on the ground in Las Vegas covering every aspect of the show. CES is the world's biggest electronic show, and it serves as a preview for the coming year in technology. Here are five trends we expect to see at CES 2015. First up, Quantum Dot. Last year's CES was all about Ultra HD TVs and curved screens, but this year, we'll be hearing a lot about a tiny innovation called Quantum Dots. What are Quantum Dots? These itty bitty crystals sit in front of the backlight on LCD TVs to make colors more saturated and vibrant. At least, that's what manufacturers say. We'll see for ourselves when we get these sets in our labs next year. Next, wearable tech passes out of its novelty phase. 2014 was definitely the year of the smartwatch with major introductions from brands such as LG, Samsung, and Apple. At CES, we expect to see even more of these risk-top computers, plus new devices such as earphones that track your heart rate and sports sensors that strap to your body and gather metrics about your performance. We're also anticipating a lot of news about a hot new smartphone accessory. It's called your car. We expect 2015 to be the year when Apple and Google battle it out for domination of the dashboard as they line up car makers behind the CarPlay and Android Auto interfaces. If our email inboxes are any indication, we also expect that CES will be positively silly with smart home gear. This year we expect to see everything from smart ceiling fans to Wi-Fi connected light bulbs with built-in security cameras. Not exactly the ideal bathroom fixture. Finally, look for Ultra HD content to start catching up to TV technology. Now that the new higher resolution TVs are on the market and prices are falling fast, people are gonna want something to watch on these sets. Netflix is already streaming House of Cards in Ultra HD, but we're expecting major announcements from other streaming services, as well as satellite and cable providers. Visit consumerreports.org for continuing coverage of CES, and be sure to follow us on Twitter.